Hi everyone, good day. This is JP and welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, for today, uh, I want to share to you uh, what I did with my uh, fish. And uh, I made a DIY fish pond or fish tank which uh, is made out of a plastic box. And uh, I used uh, certain materials which are very affordable since uh, we are under a quarantine and um, we don't have the luxury to uh, buy um, expensive materials and uh, I hope you will like this uh, clip so let's go and see the system okay so now let us look at the fish tank that I made yeah, there you go so basically this is a um, mega box a uh, plastic box which is uh, an excess material in the house so I made use of it and here are the fish that I got from uh, Vincent Halandoni a friend of mine so as you can see they are already uh, more than a month old and we have here our filter aerator filter uh, DIY filter which basically made out of excess materials and um, very affordable materials and then uh, this is a very basic setup we have here our on top we have here our filter the first chamber is our mechanical filter and our biological filter which are made out of lava rocks and uh, stones which I got at our backyard we have here a sponge to filter the solids waste or the feces of our fish and then uh, as you can see the pump or the submersible pump push water up and uh, I made this setup before because I had a uh, sump which I put it here on top but um, I decided to uh, make another setup which is uh, for me, I think it's more good for the fish and I prepared uh, the material for the renovation of my fish tank. You might wonder what are this? This is for the um, uh, in case of uh, a brownout which uh, I will have no access to aerator the fish will die so I made a DIY air pump or aerator okay and uh, I'm going to uh, share it with you later or on a different uh, clip and you might wonder what are these containers for these are filled with water which uh, um, I uh, used for water change so this will be the materials for the uh, repair or for the new system that I uh, will be making so we have here our cutters pipes scissors sandpaper sandpaper I use sandpaper to clean the pipes so that um, there will be no debris because the this tiny plastic will um, um, be eaten by the fish and I think they might be killed or die in, in the system and we have here cable ties and connectors and the hose okay and then um, what I did with this box uh, this one is the um, solids filter okay so basically uh, this is made out of an excess bucket ding, ding, ding. 
and I got this one from our uh, bodega which uh, or from our uh, warehouse or storage room okay and um, these are excess materials that I saw there and uh, what I did I made use of it because uh, I cannot afford to buy more materials for my system and so this one is a solid uh, filter okay and um, if you look at this one okay uh, this is very very affordable and uh, any anybody can uh, afford to do this uh, setup so um, we'll try to uh, put this in the system later on okay and then this one is the fish tank as you can see we have here uh, I prepared a um, filter which uh, um, it will be uh, included in the system the new hose and here the solids uh, filter will be connected here okay so that um, it will help in the filtration of the uh, system so we'll do a setup of this one later okay so let's go Okay, so we're done with the transfer of the fish from this tank. 
So this tank will serve as our uh, sump tank for this time and then as you can see from the 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 water is being pumped by this uh, pump submersible pump goes up and then going to the fish tank as you have observed the uh, water is still murky but uh, we see have our sponge filter which uh, DIY sponge filter <laughs> look <laughs> cool okay so let's wait for an hour or 30 minutes to clear up the water so from here from the fish tank the water will go up especially the solids will be filtered here going to our solids filter so okay so water will be trapped there and then the solids will go down at the same time, the clean water will be lifted and goes here and then goes to our mechanical filter. Look at the waste. It is suspended there. And we have here our uh, sponge. And then from here, from the mechanical filter, it will go to the biological filter which is composed of the rocks and uh, uh, lava rock okay so from here clean, as you can see the water is very very clean and then it goes down goes back to the sump some tank okay so for now it's uh, still uh, murky or uh, dirty but we will clean that later on okay Okay, so after uh, 30 minutes, this is now the outcome of the fish tank, which is very, very clear. Okay, so that's it. Our new setup. Okay guys, that's it for now and I hope you enjoyed the video clip and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification uh, bell below and uh, for comments and suggestions, you may write it down on the comment section below and uh, I hope to see you soon and uh, uh, we'll be having a lot of videos for you for the DIY um, fish growing system and